Hello students, myself Shri Ram Shastri. I once again welcome you all to my new video session. So in this video today, we are going to discuss about the arterial systems and the different types of aortic arteries and vertebrates. So today with this first video session, I would like to start with the basic uh, what you call as arterial system of vertebrate embryo. So this is a diagrammatic representation of the vertebrate embryo having the arterial system. So what all it contains? What all it contains? If you see the diagram very carefully, you can understand it. Okay. So this part, these two regions are the internal art, uh, internal internal carotid arteries. This region, what you see, it is external carotid artery. Then there is a branching of these into six arches. Okay. Six aortic arches are branched here. Below the aortic arches, there are generally kill slits in embryo. These small boxes with dotted lines, what you see, these are the uh, kill slits. The first one is the mandibular arch. The second one is hyoid arch. The third, fourth, fifth and sixth, these are the remaining aortic arches. So these small regions are called as gill slits and this lateral side, it is called as radix or it is also called as lateral dorsal iota. Clear. So now this is a diagrammatic representation. Then if you see both the lateral, uh, what you call as dorsal iota, they fuse and form the single median dorsal iota here. And there is a, a branching of these uh, arches. It can be termed as efferent branchial art artery or if efferent and efferent, two types, efferent and efferent, right? Then it is further branched into vitelline artery. Then it is uh, further divided into allantoic artery and continues into the tail region with the caudal artery. Caudal artery is the main truncus arteriosus that is dorsal iota which continues into the tail region of vertebrates. Now here what the diagram is, the same diagrams, so we got in points I have noted down here because uh, we have to explain it in a very careful manner. So in the different vertebrates, some of these aortic arches are differently modified, some of them are present, some of them are absent, okay. But basic uh, plan is like this. This is the basic plan what I'm showing here. And this is the basic uh, introduction of aortic arches in vertebrate embryo, clear. So don't confuse it in uh, this. In the next session, we'll continue with the comparative uh, aortic arches of the different vertebrates, including from fishes to uh, the mammals, okay? So we'll have that session separately. So in this introduction part, I would like to put some uh, important points over here. So the uh, generally the arterial system or the aortic arches, we can uh, divide into three parts as ventral aorta, dorsal aorta, and six pairs of aortic arches, the first point, okay? Ventral aorta, dorsal aorta and six pairs of aortic arches, clear. So the ventral aorta is present beneath the pharynx, just below the pharynx and generally it is branches into one pair of external carotid arteries. See the diagram here, the external carotid arteries, this one, okay, it branches into two, one pair means two, this is one pair of external carotid arteries, clear. Now then at intervals, six pairs of aortic arches arise from the ventral aorta itself. You can see these are the six pairs. One, two, three, four, five and six at both sides, left and right side. So total six pairs of the aortic arches arise from that. These six aortic arches, they have two parts as efferent and efferent parts. They are connected to the gill slits. These are connected to the gill slits and they are having two portions, efferent and efferent, right? So they are called as brachial arteries. They are connected to the gill slits. Samaj mein right? So gill slits, the efferent part generally collects uh, what you call as the venous blood, uh, supplies venous blood to the gill slits and the efferent part collects the arterial blood from the gill slits. Venous blood from efferent branchial artery and from efferent what you call as arterial blood. Venous blood and arterial blood is being uh, given and taken up from the gill slits with the help of these aortic arches. That, that's the process of respiration in uh, embryonic uh, uh, larval forms of vertebrates and fishes also. In other vertebrates, this will somewhat differ further because the developmental process has been uh, evolved, there are different uh, types of uh, modifications in aortic arches that we'll discuss later on in the comparative part of 
uh, aortic arches. Presently, we are just discussing the basic, uh, what do you call as body plan or basic structure of an aortic arch and vertebrates. Okay. Then coming to the dorsal, uh, what do you call as these six aortic arches, they dorsally join uh, it, uh, to form a lateral dorsal aorta or what we call as uh, the radix. So these all six uh, branches, they attach to the lateral sides of the aorta and they form the radix or lateral dorsal aorta, this region. Okay. So this is radix or lateral dorsal aorta, this part. So then they enter into the head as internal carotid arteries. Now these portions they enter into the head part of the vertebrates. Okay. So the blood vessels enter into the head region as the name is internal carotid arteries. Now they are modified into internal carotid arteries and they enter into the head region. Okay. From here they head uh, enter into the head region. That is an uh, important uh, branching of it. Then two lateral dorsal aorta, the these lateral aorta they unite here. These two lateral dorsal aorta, they unite here and they form a single median dorsal aorta. This one, single median dorsal aorta. Now, this single median dorsal aorta is formed just below the pharynx. Just below the pharynx, this structure is formed. In tail region, what happens? Now, this further, you know, vitelline artery, allantoic artery and then further, it continues branching and it enters into the tail region. It enters into the tail region in the form in, in the structure and the in the in, in the form of tail and uh, that particular blood vessel is called as caudal artery. The same uh, what you call as dorsal aorta continues into the tail region because it enters into the tail region. The word caudal artery is used. The word cauda refers to tail. Caudal region refers to tail region. That's it. Okay. So this is a simple uh, basic discussion of a aortic arches in vertebrate embryo. So in the next session, we'll uh, continue with the comparative uh, discussion of the aortic arches in vertebrates. I hope you might have understood it very clearly. Once again, uh, you can go through this uh, to understand the topic. If you have some questions on doubts or doubts upon particular topic related to aortic arches and comparative anatomy on vertebrates, you can just comment me and I will uh, clarify it directly or if it is a lengthy topic, I can make a video of it. Thank you. Thank you very much.